first first appearance on national television, and uh, I think you're going to find him a little different. Would you welcome Stephen Wright? One time, right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you one question. If you were in a vehicle and you were traveling at the speed of light, and then you turned your lights on, would they do anything? He said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. I've never seen electricity. That's why I don't pay for it. I write right on the bill. Sorry, I haven't seen it all month. A couple of nights ago, I came home very late, and I was having a little bit of trouble getting into my apartment, and I accidentally took out a car key, and I stuck it into the door and turned it, and the building started up. So I drove it around for a while. I went too fast and the police pulled me over. They said, where do you live? I said, right here. <laughs> then I parked it in the middle of a highway and I ran out the front door and yelled at all the cars to get the hell out of my driveway. <laughs> it's a good apartment building to live in, though, because they allow pets. I have a pony. <laughs> I have a Shetland pony named Nicky. And last summer he was involved in a bizarre electrolysis accident. <laughs> hair was removed except for the tail. <laughs> now I rent him out to a Hare Krishna family picnic. <laughs> yeah, it's a small world, but I wouldn't want to paint it. One time I went to the drive-in in a cab. <laughs> Movie cost me $95. <laughs> I went to court for a parking ticket. I pleaded insanity. <laughs> About four years ago, I... No, it was yesterday. I couldn't sleep, so I got up. <laughs> then I got hungry, so I went out to the store that I know was open 24 hours. When I got down there, there was a guy outside locking it up. He said, sorry, we're closed. I said, what do you mean you're closed? The sign says open 24 hours. He said, not in a row. <laughs> How's it going? Wonderful. Did they uh, just let you out for this evening? Uh... Yeah, I have an hour left. That's... <laughs> That's wonderfully inventive stuff. Thanks. Really? Is this your first time on first national time television? On national television, yes. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about it? Uh... What? I'm in shock. Did it do... I'm did it sure. go the way you thought it would go? Yeah, it's... it's, it's uh... Yep. <laughs> Not a lot of comedians don't come out of Boston. No, there's, uh, there's a lot of good ones there, and they'll, they're, uh, <laughs> they're with me right now in my head. <laughs> where, do you, where do you work in Boston? I work at uh, the Comedy Connection and Constant Comedy, which is in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Yeah. And that's where uh, Peter O'Sally saw me, who, that's right, who brought me here. And uh, he saw me. He didn't say anything, but three weeks later, the phone rang, and he said, how'd you like to do the Tonight Show? And I said, uh, I think you have the wrong number. 